Okay, welcome back. And now let's do some examples here. So I'm going to use the two rules to find the answers to these sums. Okay. Now the part A, notice that they have the same sign. So all I do is I add the values and keep the sign. Okay. They're both positive. So I'm going to just add these values and keep the sign. So it's going to be 9 plus 3, which is 12. And since they're positive, the answer is positive. Okay. For part B, again, they have the same sign. So that means I'm going to add the values and keep the sign. So I'm going to add 6 and 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. Since they're both negative, the answer is going to be negative 15. So again, you add the values. Again, I'm talking about absolute value, right? So I'm going to add the values, the absolute values, and keep the sign. So this is going to be negative 15. Now, here, they're opposite signs. That means I'm going to subtract the absolute values. I'm going to subtract the absolute values and keep the sign of the larger number. So I'm going to subtract 12 minus 7. So I'm thinking in my head, 12 minus 7, and then what? I'm keeping the sign of the larger one. So it's going to be negative, right? So this is just in my head, I'm thinking this. 12 minus 7, and then the answer is going to be negative. So this would give me a negative 5. Okay. Same thing here. They have opposite signs. So that means I'm going to subtract the values, their absolute values. And again, smallest from largest. And I'm going to keep the sign of the larger number. So here, I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to do 22 minus 14. And since the larger number is positive, the answer here is going to be positive. And so this is going to give me what? A positive what? Eight. Okay. And that's that easy, right? So I'm just applying the two rules. Now the last one. Now I'm throwing something in here with uh, mixed numbers. Okay. We can still do it. We remember how to deal with mixed numbers, right? So all I'm going to do is apply the rule here. So the rule says if I have opposite signs, I'm going to subtract the two numbers in absolute value and then keep the, the sign of the larger number. So what I'm going to do, what this is in my head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be subtracting 14 and 3 fourths minus 6 and 3 eighths. And then of course, which number is bigger? This number is bigger, so I know that the final answer is going to be negative. So let's do that. So let's take care of the inside first. So let's set it up. 14 and 3 fourths minus 6 and 3 eighths. So now, 14 minus 6 is 8, right? And then, of course, I need a common denominator here. So I know that 3 fourths is the same as 6 eighths. And so now I'm going to take 6 minus 3, which is 3, so I get 3 eighths. I didn't have to borrow or anything. And guess what? Now I know that my answer is going to be negative 8 and 3 eighths. And that's it. Have a great day.